and welcome back to my channel it is ijoma here in today's video we are going to learn how to make this perfect turtleneck you can see how relaxed the turtleneck is around the neck of this mannequin and if i turn the back i just have one inch for my zipper allowance and it is very fitted so this is the neckline that we are going to be working with for this dress this is a jumpsuit actually i used 2.5 by 2.5 the neck depth is 2.5 the neck width is 2.5 that is for the front then for the back the neck width is 2.5 the neck depth is 1.5 so for the back do not use 3 by for the front do not use 3 by 3 use 2.5 by 2.5 it will give you a more fitted round neck you can only use 3 by 3 if you are making it for a plus size like a fat person but 2.5 by 2.5 is very very perfect then the back will be 2.5 by 1.5 the first thing that we do is to start from the zipper allowance and measure your round neck you measure your round neck and the round neck that i'm using is not too much after measuring my round neck i got 16.5 let's call it 17 i got 16.5 so after this i will get a pattern paper so that we can draft our neckline it is really really important and this particular method that we are using will make your upper turtleneck to be very relaxed like the upper part of the turtleneck will be very relaxed so you fold a triangular just fold it in a triangular form you can see what i have here just fold it like you want to cut a triangular flea the first one that i uploaded on my channel i folded a full circle this one is just a triangular flay then from there you will come down by 10 10 inches round mark 10 10 inches round this is not a standard but from these 10 inches you can get a perfect total neck you can get a perfect also like if you are making it for a plus size you can start from 11 inches so i have marked 10 10 inches round and i'll go ahead and connect right now from this area where we mark 10 we will mark 1.5 1.5 inch is our length like the the wideness of the turtle neck will be 1.5 you can make it two or three it depends on how wide you want your turtle neck to be but i want mine to be 1.5 inches wide or long just the length then after that i will connect and you can see that i measured that 1.5 from the 10 inches line that i marked initially this is very simple just for the triangular flea or a triangle then from the pointed part come down by 10 inches from that 10 inches determine the length of your turtle neck and then connect you can see what we have now by doing this the wideness of the down part will be more than the wideness of the upper part so we have 17 and a half inches there that is on fold i measured it on fold we have 17 and a half so if you divide 17 into two you'll be getting eight point something so when i open up this you can see what i have it has a perfect round shape i've cut out my fabric i used my pattern paper to cut out my fabric and i cut out two two pieces and you can see that i have half an inch allowance on each side of this pattern half an inch seam allowance on each side of this pattern and i cut out two pieces of my fabric i will turn the upper part first i will join the upper part just to close it but before doing that you can decide to add a soft interface or a tissue gum to your pieces it depends on how light the fabric you are working with is this fabric that i'm working with is not too so light so i added this soft interface on one side of the turtle neck after doing this i will cut off the excess and then i will turn the upper part of this turtle neck i am done turning the upper part you can see that i ran a stitch there half an inch seam then i will notch very very well please notch properly so that when you iron this 
curved area will relax very very well after doing this i will open this up and iron you go ahead and open up you can top stitch if you want but i did not top stitch i'll go ahead and iron properly iron with a seam iron you can see what i'm doing so after ironing this is what i have I'll go ahead and trim off the excess. The remaining part is the part that you will fix to your neckline, right? That is the remaining part. So after doing that, I'll fold one side of this turtleneck. I'll fold this by half an inch. You can see what I'm doing. As I'm folding, I will be ironing. As I'm folding, I will be ironing. So you take your time and do this round the turtleneck. This is the area that will attach to our normal sleeve. So just go ahead and fold one side of this turtleneck by half an inch. As you are folding, you will be ironing. Right now, I am done doing this. And you can see that one side is still normal, but I folded one side. Right now, I will introduce our neckline back. First of all, I will fix my turtleneck to, from the inside. Like, I will sew it inside out. This is the turtleneck, right? I will go ahead and stitch the turtleneck to the normal neck. You can see that part that I left open is what I will attach first to the neck. I will fix it round. That is from the inside. Now I will go ahead and fold over. You can see that you can see that place that I folded by half an inch. That place that I owned. That is what is going to be at the front or at the outside of the neckline. So right now we just go ahead and fold it over and run a stitch on it. So I only need to make it very simple for you. At the end of the day, this is what we have. So guys, please don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up so that more people can get to see the video. So if I turn the back, you can see my one inch um zipper allowance to show that it is really fitted. I did not Pick it so much at the back. You can see our zipper allowance at the back. This shows that this neckline is very fitted. So guys, do not forget to subscribe and follow me on Instagram and on Facebook at So With Ijoma. You can also follow me on TikTok at So With Ijoma at So With Ijoma. Thank you all and see you in my next video. I love you all. Bye.